Hello, Rebel, and welcome back to my life. We're vlogging from the bed today, and you know what that means. We finished a book! Yay! You remember these videos? I miss these videos. They used to happen a lot more often. That's probably what I miss about them the most. The latest Underrealm novel, A Cloak of Red, is done, done, and it's coming out in one week. Seven days. Seven days. Can you believe that? This book has got everything. It's got a gorgeous cover, which you can see on the screen right now. It's got a really, really good map that I'm very proud of that you can also see on the screen right now. But that's like, you know, to, like art stuff. What about what about the book? What about the book itself? It, well, the book it turns out is really really good. So honestly, this whole vlogging from the bed thing seems a little bit less applicable for this book because you know I I'm not the one who wrote it. This is a book by Brenna Gawain, the first Underrealm author other than myself to to have a full novel done. But I published it, and let me tell you, that's still a lot of work and I'm still very tired. <laughs> a Cloak of Red is really important as a book. It's important within its own context. It's a, it's a really good story. It's uh, an interesting character dynamic that we haven't seen too much of in Underrealm. It explores some really crazy, heady themes that I think people are going to be pleased to and also a little bit surprised to see. I mean, it deals with things like imperialism, colonialism, militarism. It also features two women in a wonderful, sweet, soft, loving relationship as the series' main characters. If you've read the Academy Journals, you already know Theron and Lilith. And they, I just, I love them so much. And Brenna... I feel like Brenna gets them more than I even got them. <laughs> the book also does this wonderful job of exploring themes of disability and specifically like mental disability in the form of PTSD and long lasting after effects of trauma on the way a person deals with and views the world that again, Brenna just did such a better job than I ever possibly could have with this. But then, you know, just from like the, the legacy books as a company perspective, this is the first Underrealm book by somebody who isn't me. And that's amazing. I really wish it wasn't coming out while a global pandemic was happening and the world was such a dumpster fire. But honestly, uh, that's my fault and nobody else's, so I can't really be too upset about it. If it wasn't for me imposing artificial delays that I've since decided to do away with, uh, this book could have come out like two years ago, and boy, now that I've read it several times over, including narrating the audiobook, I really wish it had come out two years ago, because I want to read the next one, <laughs> which is happening. It's happening right now. Brenna's writing it uh, furiously. She's probably not that furious. She's probably, you know, probably not that angry at the book. Um, she might be furious, but just not at the book, you know? No, no, she's writing it uh, right now. And um, I'm going to commission the cover art for it soon and everything. And I really want to read it because, because this book is, it's really good. One of my favorite things about Cloak of Red is that it's definitely an Underrealm novel. All of the advanced readers and the editors and even the audiobook editor who have read all of the other Underrealm books, they're like, I love that it feels like the same world. It's definitely Underrealm. But at the same time, it is different. It is slightly different from all the books that I've read in terms of tone, in terms of treatment, style. Uh, Brenna's got her own very distinct voice that I just... I love it so much. Like I said, I, I just want to read the next book already because it turns out Brenna's a really good writer. <laughs> and that aspect of it, the, the ways in which it is slightly different from my style, from the way I've treated Underrealm up to this point, that's why Underrealm and why Legacy Books has to be more than just me. It has to be other people. It has to be more perspectives and more viewpoints than just my own. Because letting somebody into the world who has been reading Underrealm almost since the very beginning and having her, you know, put her own spin on it and sort of reading between the lines 
and seeing what she does with her work that is a complement to and also a commentary on the world of Underrealm and the potential of what it could be. It, it honestly makes me a little bit emotional. <laughs> it's been a long time coming and I'm, and I'm so happy it's finally here. We've got other authors. They're working as well on, on books. Um, uh, we want more. Um, I'm, uh, it, it's, it's hard to, to get that ball rolling to, to approach other authors and be like, Hey, do you want to write in this world? That's already been created with maybe with characters that have already been created and sort of put your own spin on it. And, um, so far everybody who has been interested in that prospect have been people who are sort of already readers and already fans. And I'm just really hoping that a cloak of red becomes a launching point where we can point to Brenna as an example to maybe to other people who aren't necessarily as familiar with under Roman legacy books and be like, okay, you want to know what it's going to be like? It's going to be like that. You're going to, you're going to do what she did and it's going to be really cool because it was really cool for her. So rebel, if you want to help uh, make that sort of thing happen, um, best thing you could do would be to pre-order cloak of red. I know I've mentioned that a few times recently, but uh, yeah, it's, it's coming. It's coming next week. So there's a link in the description and uh, probably in the little uh, card right up here. Uh, and if you could go to Amazon and pre-order your Kindle copy, um, that'd be really great. And it'd help us out a lot. And in seven days, you're going to get a really, really good book that you can read while you're stuck at home, probably social distancing yourself from other people. <laughs> what a friggin' time we live in. This has been a process of uh, many years now. Uh, I'm glad it's done because we get to share it with you, but I missed the process and I'm glad that we're already working on the next one because I just can't wait to read it y'all. So there it is a cloak of red. It's done. It's coming out in seven days. Go pre-order your copy right now. Cause it's really friggin' cool. And that is all I've got for you today. Rebel. Uh, if you want, you can go be a patron of mine and help me keep making YouTube videos and, uh, in a roundabout way, writing more books. Many times my patrons have been the sole reason that I'm able to keep doing everything that I'm doing from YouTube to writing. So if you want to be one of those awesome and incredibly attractive people, click the Patreon link in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow for Veda Day 4. Bye.